Hey guys, so if you guys will remember from chemistry the concept of a mole. Um, I found that a lot of people don't really understand what a mole is because it's kind of a hard concept to grasp at first. Um, so I'll kind of explain it to you and hopefully you'll get it this time. Um, what a mole is, is just a unit of measurement. Um, <clears throat> it tells a person how much um, how many molecules of a substance there are, there is, and if um, they know what that substance is, it can tell them um, how many or how much that substance weighs. Um, it's kind of confusing to think of it that way, so I'll equate it to um, a more common use of a, co a more commonly used unit, um, the dozen. So when I say I have a dozen pencils, that means that I have 12 pencils. Um, when I talk about having a mole of oxygen, um, that means that I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules. Um, <coughs> and of course, the weight comes into that too. Um, if I say I have 12 pencils, of course, the 12 pencils is going to weigh a lot less than the 12, you know, trucks. Um, likewise, if I have 12, um, 12 mole, or if I have a mole of hydrogen, it's going to weigh a lot less than if I have, say, a mole, a mole of uranium. Like I said before, um, a mole of something tells us how many molecules of it um, is there. For example, if I say I have one mole of oxygen gas, that means I have 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd molecules of gas. Um, and hopefully that makes sense. Um, but if you have something a little more complicated, say 3... three moles of oxygen, um, then you would just multiply three by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd, just as if you were to multiply three um, times 12, if you had three dozen pencils, for example. Um, in this case, three moles of oxygen would be equal to 1.8 times 10 to the 24th molecules. And um, that'll just be the same thing with any number, you know, whether you have 10 moles, if you have 20 moles, even, you know, a thousand moles of something, um, you could easily calculate the number of molecules that you have um, with this number. The other thing that you can find out if you have the number of moles is the weight of whatever you have. Um, for example, if I have, uh, the weight is equal to the GFM of your, of your substance. Um, in this particular case, you have, or we have three moles of oxygen. Um, the GFM of oxygen of O2 is 32. And so what that means is just that one mole of O2 um, is 32 grams. So if we were to um, try to figure out how many grams 1.8 times 10 to the 24th molecules of oxygen gas weighed, um, we would just simply multiply the number of moles times the GFM for that element. So in this case, it would just be... 96 grams. Um, I'll just go through another example just so that um, you know everything's more more clear. Um, let's say I have two moles of carbon. Um, if we were looking for the number of molecules that is, we would just multiply two um, by 6.022 times 10 to the 23rd. Um, that equals 1.2 times 
10 to the 24th molecules. And just like in this example, if we were looking for the mass of the two moles of carbon, we would just multiply 2 by the GFM of C. Um, the GFM of C, of course, is 12. So that would equal 24 grams.